All right, traders, I wanna do a video on Sterling Trader Pro and how to set it up. I got a comment from BoxRip. You should do a video about setting up Sterling Trader Pro. So I'm a man of the people. That's what I'm gonna do. Over at Capital Markets Elite Group, Sterling Trader Pro is the same price as DOS Trader Pro, $224 a month. Some people prefer it over DOS. And so I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to set it up because the content out there on it, I've done some analysis, is terrible, uh, it's awful and it's very dated so i want to dive into that and also with sterling trader pro you do get the rebate back as well similar to dos commissions are cheap 0 0.0005 uh, per share so on a thousand shares times that it's going to be 50 cent minimum order and then the ecs you can get a rebate in the parentheses here add liquidity you get a rebate add liquidity you get a rebate so you can nearly trade for free over at sterling trader pro as well so i was playing around with sterling trader pro i'm on the demo here trying to get it set up all perfectly to do a tutorial on it and i just figured you know what let's just make it not look so clean Let, let's walk through it with you together so that we all can kind of learn because i'm going to forget some of the buttons i push in setting this up so i want to walk through it with you i don't want it to be boring but i want to make sure you understand how to tailor it to your own personal trading style i'm going to tailor it to mine uh, and i'm confident you're going to learn some bits and pieces from this video that's going to be able to help you out in setting up your platform now i'm on a mac and i use crossover for mac so i can use a windows platform on my mac i've done a video on that type in crossover for mac setting up your platform with CMAG. Let me move my my face just a little bit here. All the windows are floating windows. I do like that. It allows you to throw windows on different monitors if you guys are utilizing multiple monitors, which I'm sure you do. And then you can also link the windows together. You see this color here that's black. This one's yellow. And so yellow for here and then my level two window is yellow as well let's fill in some of this space i know it's very ugly at the moment and so yellow and yellow and then my times and sales is yellow as well so any stock in your watch list which is located here and if you don't know where your watch list is just make sure you go to the action bar months located down here at the bottom you can go to windows and quotes and that's where you can access your watch list times and sales chart Top 10 risers and fallers. <laughs> Why do they name it risers and fallers? Top percent gainers and losers. Uh, and then you ha also have your news. I'm going to go ahead and click on news. News window pops up. Of course, you can move that wherever you'd like. See, you guys get to see the dirty. And let's go ahead and click this bar here and change it to yellow. So now that way, let's go to our watch list and click on Apple. Double click on Apple. And now it's going to populate in the news field the times and sales, and our level two monitor, which we can place our orders on that. Let's go ahead and populate that to the chart as well. So double click Apple again, it's gonna go, it's gonna populate to the chart. Now this chart is very basic. We wanna definitely add some things to the chart. So if you right click into the chart, that's where you're able to go to settings. Let's highlight market hours. That way we can differentiate the pre-market and after hours with the market hours. Scroll through here a little bit. Let's do the remember the last line study color. I want to show the average daily volume. Average daily volume is really important. We can see the volume on the day and compare that to the average daily volume to know if it's above or below the average daily volume because above average volume will give you the range, ranges where you can capitalize on, on making the money. And that's what day traders are looking for, that volatility to capitalize on. Uh, click on the show crosshair price. I'll show you what that does. You just click on the chart, it shows you the price. Show the line for the previous day's close. Make sure that's clicked, and we'll change the color of that to red. Show line for the previous day's close, so we know the close was red. Show a line for today's open. We'll know that that's green. Green is today's open, red is yesterday's close. Um, if you want to display it on the chart, you can show your position, your P&L gradient, executions now that's very interesting you can show your open orders it'll probably show you a disclosed triangle on the chart and you can actually adjust your orders by dragging that i i think that's pretty nice uh let's get rid of display confirmation message to pop up when we're dragging that okay 
So that is very nice. Up here we have the average daily volume and now we have the open price line here which is going to be a natural area of support or resistance depending on where the stock is in the previous uh, close. And the previous close is always a very important level of support and resistance as well. So we just get an idea looking at this chart not even knowing much based on these visual indicators we put in that this is trending higher it's above yesterday's close and it's above today's open so it's very strong apple is right now if we right click on the chart we can add an indicator moving averages uh they got a lot of different indicators here probably the most important would be the vwap or volume volume we definitely won't let's throw volume on there add uh color we i mean we want red for the color we want red for red volume and green for green volume See what that does. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we have our volume chart. I'm glad I'm walking through this with you guys because this is important. And it actually shows us the volume per candlestick here. And I think if we go to a daily time frame, let's try this. If we go to interval, right click, go to interval and go to daily. Now it's going to show us the daily volume, today's daily volume versus the average daily volume that we threw in the chart up here. So now we can keep an eye on that relative daily volume by doing that. It's not a bad idea to actually throw up another chart and sync it with the yellow and have that as a daily chart. Let's do that. That is why we're here doing this. All right, that's gonna be our daily chart. If I would've just been doing this to perfect a video, I feel like you wouldn't have learned as much because I would've been having to backtrack. Let's go to quotes, set up another chart, and let's do the spy. We'll make it yellow. And then we will set our interval to, yep, the one minute time frame. Now let's have that right there next to it. And look at that too. See the crosshair. If you click where I added the, the crosshairs to show the price, if you guys remember that, if you click on the daily one that we adjusted, it shows you the price when you're moving it up and down. That's very nice and the other chart doesn't so we'll have to adjust that as well once you're flipping through charts it, it does save them at the bottom uh of your chart menu let's actually go to amazon double click that and you see how it populates down there as well so you can flip through these if you right click them you can delete them from here as well remove amazon all right you guys get the idea we definitely want a daily chart with probably some moving averages it, I'm not gonna go through every single one of these indicators, but on your daily chart, add indicators, add your 50 and 200 day moving averages, that's where you can do it. Probably throw in an RSI, and on your one minute time frame, add you know the VWAP and whatever else you want. Relative volume's not a bad one here. Let's see what that does. Add the relative volume. Uh, I don't want everything to be green. Let's just throw purple on the daily chart for the relative volume. And that's a pretty good indicator as well. Another visual indicator to let you know where we're at with the relative volume. It's down right now on the day. Um, so not a ton of volume there on, on Apple. I do like that indicator. I would throw that one on the chart. Let's go over to the level two real quick and see what kind of settings we can adjust for this. We can adjust the level one bar highlighting, some miscellaneous things as well. The colors, you can flip the text and the background colors, which I kind of like that. Let's see what it looks like gives it a more cleaner look uh the yellow is the top of the book green is the second uh the best orders the, these are the bid and ask orders now if you guys do want to take advantage of getting the rebates with the ecn you add liquidity for instance on the new york stock exchange and so we can go into our level two and go to nyse we go to nyse click on that and now what you're going to want to do is make sure you put your order on the bid versus the ask to get the rebate. You wanna add liquidity versus taking it. Adding liquidity puts your orders out there into the ether on the bid side. Removing liquidity is just market ordering in, trying to get the best available price. You can also adjust hot buttons. You guys can see I got buy 100 bid on the level two. You can adjust all these buttons by going to view. Hot buttons bar, you wanna make sure that is checked. Hot button bar setup. And you can make your own buttons. For instance, I got short sale 100 on the ask. So I press OK. And now I have short sale 1000 on the ask. Let's go back to view and go to local order entry settings. This is where you can adjust 
the default. So quantity to open position, we can change that to whatever, a thousand, and your open position, do you want that to be a long or a short? Account, set that to your account, and then destination, do your destination so you get the rebate. Then okay. Let's go to view, down at the bottom, and settings. And this is where you can adjust your hotkey settings. So we go to hotkeys, and this is where you can make them. I'm not doing an advanced video on this. If you guys want it, I can. Uh, DOS has the more advanced hotkey setups, which I've done videos on. If you want really advanced hotkeys, I would go over to DOS. Here's one I got for the hotkey F3. Buy a thousand, and it's a, it's a stop order as well. And so what it does is it gets me a thousand that sets a stop order at my average price, minus 20 cents. So immediately upon getting in, it sets an S stop order to get me out if the stock drops 20 cents. And again, make sure your destination, you wanna set to whatever you get the rebate for, click your account. Your TIFF, you can set to current day uh, for extended hours, immediate or cancel. So if you don't get filled immediately, cancel the order, fill or kill now. Load and go, so it doesn't ask you for confirmation. Uh, that's how you can play around with these hotkeys. You set them up. That's all I'm going to go into as far as the hotkeys go. But traders, I think that covers the general overview uh, of the platform. If you want to look at any news, you just double click and it, it'll ban that uh, newsletter out so you can read that. If you right click on your charts, you know, you can, you can select any interval, any bar style you guys like. We use the candlesticks here. Uh, the price style, they actually have the hike and ashy price style, which is really interesting. It doesn't follow the typical candle style that we're used to. It, it takes more of an average of the last candlestick and gives you more of a trend to follow. I haven't used it very much. It's more for following trends, and it, it's really interesting. So if you want to play around with the hike and ashy price style, that's something you can utilize. Uh, you can right-click any chart and add to linked watch list, and it'll throw it in your watch list below. This is your order window here. All your orders will get thrown into this window. And I like all the settings we adjusted on the charts. To be able to adjust your orders on the chart, that's really interesting. You definitely want to be able to show your orders. So when you get into these stocks, let's make sure we have that uh, setting applied. So yeah, here's that down here. Show open orders. We want to show our executions as well. Traders, just play around with those settings. Uh, hit the like button if this was helpful to you guys. And uh, hit the subscribe button. I, I want to come out with content for you guys that is going to be beneficial for your trading and or educational. Sterling Trader Pro is really user friendly. It's a really clean, pretty interface. I think you guys will enjoy the uh, platform. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below or anything to add that might be helpful for the newer trader. If you guys haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.